Now, I mentioned this yesterday at the weekend. I went for a walk around Fern Valley. Actually, the first time I've ever explored Fern Valley. I can't believe it's taken me so long. I've lived in Jersey for five and a half years. It was the first time I've, I've gone round there. Beautiful, amazing, isn't it? Really tranquil as well. So close to town, but so peaceful and quiet. And I had a go at taking a few pictures when I was there, but I don't think I, don't think I really did it justice. Uh, some photographers who certainly can do our island justice, though, are the 14 featured at this exhibition at the Harbour Gallery in St. Aubin that I've been talking about. Our Island Through the Lens, the exhibition is called. 14 Jersey photographers with all their different takes of the island. It's amazing how different their work is as well, the different light angles, the things they choose to focus on. Carla Butler's work is featured. I asked her how long she's been taking photos. Oh, um, how old am I now? <laughs> <laughs> Probably about 30 years, yeah. so yeah. Something you've always enjoyed doing. Yeah, I mean, um, my dad was always interested in photography. He was a photographer as well, as was his dad. So, you know, it's always it's fun in the family, both my dad, my brother and myself, yeah. all photographers. So were you, would you have been using film and now it's digital? And... Precisely, yep. Yeah. Moved, moved away from film probably 15, 20 years ago yeah. and went to digital, yeah. So we're in the Harbour Gallery now and we're standing in the middle of this great exhibition. It's cool seeing so many different styles of the same place and sometimes the same places side by side making it look so different. And yours... Probably more different than most, actually. Yeah, they definitely, I keep saying, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb, really. But um, <laughs> I'm taking that in a good way, you know, because I wanted to interpret the title, which is Our, Our Island Through the Lens. Mm. Um, basically, images of Jersey, but I wanted to interpret it in a different way, you know. Yes. And all these images, they are my images of Jersey. And it, when I think of Jersey, they're the kind of icons I think of. You know, they're my icons. So, you know, you've got, you got your typical kind of Corbier photo but i've done it in a slightly different way you know i've got a lot of rocks in the image you're down looking from below precisely. most look down towards corbier but yours is down amongst the rocks with it looking with it up, up. In the left hand corner precisely and then the way i've edited it you see that it brings the rocks out more so it makes yeah. them more the kind of feature of the um image and i've kind of done that with all of them really i've done eight different eight different images and i've kind of tried to pull out different details from each one so it's not your typical pretty sunset of corbier lighthouse kind of thing <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're all different so um, and all your photos are black and white as well you've you've done that afterwards in editing software yeah precisely so these all photos are took between about 2007 2011 um, digital photos and then i've edited them in photoshop i made them black and white with a slight sepia overlay on them and then i've layered up different textures to make them look like the old wet plate collodion photos of about 150 years ago 100 150 years ago so it's given a real kind of old and vintage kind of timeless feel to the photos and it's kind of showing that yes we might be in 2019 now but Jersey really hasn't changed that much and these images could have been from 100 years ago you know it's not they're not they are modern images you know yeah. I've taken them but they could have been from 100 years ago kind of thing yeah the effect works really really well you've got the AA phone box in Trinity yeah. haven't you that's something that I've not really seen many photos it's something that stands out but I've not really seen many photos of it yeah well, I mean I moved over to the island in 2004 um, and that was one of the very first things I kind of clocked when I was over here so for me that's you know that really does summarize Jersey you know it's one of yeah. the things that's really different I'd never seen one before on the mainland and you know over here I don't know if it's the last remaining one. I think yeah. it might be, but... I don't know what it's, what it's even supposed to do. Is it meant to be a, like a phone box, is it? Yeah, I think it was, um, you know... If you, if you break down... Precisely. If you break yeah. down, it, um, or if you break down on your car, you'd be able to go to the phone box and ring the AA, yeah. I believe is what its purpose <laughs> is. But, um, yeah, I actually took that photo before the new houses were built up in Trinity. So, you know, that's quite... Yeah, I don't know. It's a nice memory to see all the um, bushes and the um, yeah the greenery around it because yeah. it's not quite like that now. No. Uh, we've got Gory Castle again as well, but this is from up in the potato field. Yes, yeah, so it. it's near Haute de la Garenne. If you come down from the top mm. of the hill there, that's the kind of famous shots of the Jersey Royals. So you uh, you know when they do all the advert, yeah. you know the TV adverts and things and the TV features, that's the shot they like to use looking down across the fields. And that I think they've just taken the plastic off of the um, Royals on that one. So yeah, that's what, I love that shot. You know, just seeing the harbour and you know the castle. Yeah, and the sea off into the distance. Yeah. 
And then a site that lots of people will be familiar with if they go to town at the weekend or work in town and they might maybe walk past it on the way to work or at lunchtime each day, the toad on a stick, the crapo. Oh, yes, I love the crapo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, it was just one day I was in town and, you know, just managed to get the shot. And as you can see, I've edited it up so you've got the focus on the, um, on the toad. Um, you can actually see the liberation flags yes. in that as well. So, again, as I said, you can see the little details in it that give it away. But I just love that image. He's such a cute little <laughs> frog on a pole. <laughs> And that one fits really well being black and white, actually, as well, that one really does. It does, doesn't it? And it's interesting seeing how the different images, how they change when they're, when they're um, changed into black and white from mm. colour. You know, it brings out really strong details in each of them. Also, Jersey, of course, we've already talked about the potatoes, but very well known for its countryside. Mm. We've got a Jersey cow and we've got a tractor. We have. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually in my um, landlord's field. That's one of his tractors. Right. So, you know, um, we live up in Trinity. So, you know, I'm, I'm really kind of about the countryside and, you know, getting back to the Jersey route. So that, you know, that was just really iconic. Again, just one day, the light was just right on it. And I just captured the image of the tractor and the Jersey um, cow that was in the fields up um, near the Trinity Church. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I love the cows. They're so cute. <laughs> I went for a walk near Fern Valley um, at the weekend and there was just some Jersey cows in the field and I got my just my phone out and put it onto the camera mode and I was kind of leaning by the fence trying to get a picture of yeah. the cow but every time I went for it they looked in a different direction you've got it just perfect it's looking right down the I barrel know. of the camera it was amazing because what they were kind of about halfway across the field and I came over to them towards the um, fence and they were inquisitive so I ended up <laughs> la well, not sit sitting on the floor um, looking up with my camera and they came over and this was a shot just before um, this cow decided it wanted to have a little sniff and a nibble of my foot so uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a nice memory that one yeah. <laughs> bless them no they're just I just they're so, so pretty photogenic. yes pretty and photogenic is exactly what they are and you know it's, you don't get that you know with other breeds of cows unfortunately yeah, so um, I think you're right I think you're right these photos were taken a little while ago now mm. 2011 the most recent in this collection yes are you still doing a lot of photography oh yeah yep um I was out when was it two days ago I was taking the picture on you know the road between Vic in the valley going yes going up and yep. they've put the new sign the artist group the, the Valle de Poulet what's, what does the sign say it says the Valle de Poulet Library okay. and it's been done by an art, art group to kind of almost rename the road because that's where all the chickens run around ah free. okay yeah so um yeah so i was taking some photos of those and the chickens on <laughs> sunday and i've actually edited that photo up in the same kind of style nice so that's, a, that's an extra one to my collection at the moment were the chickens cooperative oh they were they were gorgeous <laughs> they all came running over when i pulled up so um yeah no they were really cute so yes i'm normally out and about photographing i'm also quite a lot into aviation photography as well so I go over to like Perfect Fairford Air Show and Duxford yeah. um, my dad actually um, is a volunteer for Duxford as it's well crazy. so I get to go and see the planes so you no know, you know a huge variety of um, styles and, and subject matter that I photograph normally the brilliant Carla Butler she's great isn't she you can see the exhibition our island through the lens at the harbour gallery through until the 9th of June and you're going to hear from another one of the photographers featured tomorrow morning on BBC Radio Jersey I got this feeling.